This is a video watermark, and adding one to your YouTube channel is an easy way to get viewers to subscribe. When you upload a video watermark, a subscribe button is created on every single one of your videos, which provides another opportunity and place for people to support you if they like what they see. This is Grace from Kapwing, and in this episode of our YouTube channel art series, I'll show you how to make a perfectly sized video watermark for your channel. This is a no-brainer move because it's super simple to create since we're using a free online template that you can customize or just download as is. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos in our series. And now let's get started. So to start making your YouTube watermark, you can just click the first link in the description below and you're taken to our template here. So you have two options. You can either just use this button as is, just download the asset and then upload it, or you can customize it in the editor. Both ways, you're just gonna start by clicking make it and this asset will load in the editor. So everything here is editable. You can change what the word says, change the images, add your own images. But if you just want to use this as it looks right now, just click export image right away. So now that it's done loading, we can now upload it to YouTube. If you see a watermark in the corner here, you can remove that for free, just sign into Kapwing to do that. And then to save it to your device, click download. Now I'm gonna head to youtube.com, make sure you're signed into your channel so you can upload it. Click your little profile icon in the corner and then click your channel. Now you can click customize channel and then click branding. Last time we had made our profile picture and then we made our header. So now we are adding our video watermark here. So just click upload and then select your file. It'll show you a preview and then you can click done. So make sure you also click entire video so that this watermark is shown across the whole video. And then make sure you also click publish so that these changes are saved. Awesome, so that's literally it. That's all you have to do to upload one of these video watermarks. This is just a test video I had uploaded to my channel. And then you'll be able to see what it looks like over in the corner. When viewers roll over it, you see that the subscribe button pops up. I can't subscribe to my own channel, but this would be clickable for a viewer and then they can subscribe. The reason I like a design like this is because it's very clear, it provides a, as much space as possible for viewers to click. If you make something that's smaller than that, it will be harder for them to mouse over to find the subscribe button. And it's just very clear and obvious. It brings attention to it. So what I just showed was if you wanted to use this design as is, but if you want to customize your design for your watermark, just start at the same template, first link in the description and click make it. And here is where you can just add all your edits. I wanna make it a little more closer to what I want to convey with my brand and my colors and just make it more fun. Some people like to put a logo as their watermark instead of saying subscribe and having all that stuff, which is totally fine. It's really up to you. I think one guideline is that you want to keep it simple because it's such a small icon in the corner of the video. You want it to just be very clear what it even is. If you have a lot of text on it, it will be almost impossible to read. So I'm gonna keep the subscribe word there. I'm just gonna add a more fun graphic. You can add your own images by either clicking upload here or you can just search for images right in the editor by clicking images here. I'm just gonna search for a smiley, a fun little smiley to add. And I like this one, so I'm just gonna click that. Brings it into the editor. We have options on the right side for adjusting how it looks, cropping it, and even erasing parts of the image. So feel free to explore that. I'm just gonna keep it like this. To make the whole design come together, I'm gonna also color the background the same pink color as this. So to do that, to change the background color, I'm gonna click the dark canvas outside here. And then there's this color palette. I can specify a hex code or choose a color here, but I'm actually gonna use this eyedropper and that allows me to make the background color the same as any color I move over. So I'm gonna make it this pink color. I'm just rolling over that color and clicking. And now the background is that color as well. Cool, so this is a pretty simple design. I like it because it's like a little more to attuned to what I want to be on my brand. It's just a little more fun, but it still says subscribe. It's still obvious that that is a subscribe button and has a bright color. So once you're done with your design, just click export image. So my design is done. Uh, again, if there's a watermark here, just make sure to sign in. You can remove it for free. And then I'm gonna click download to save this to my device. 
Gonna go back to this channel customization area. Again, if you don't know how to get there, it, click the channel icon, click your channel, and then you'll be here. Then click customize channel, and then click branding. And so there's the button I had used before. To change it, just click this, and then upload the one you just made. Click done. And then make sure it says entire video, so this button is displayed throughout the whole video and then also click publish to save the changes. Okay, so let's see how this one looks. And we can see that this button is in the corner already. This is what it looks like. And then again, with the rolling over, you can click subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more episodes. In the next one for our YouTube channel art series, we will be making YouTube intros, so stay tuned. If you have any feedback on this series or on the rest of our channel, any video ideas, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video.